it's December the 18th today. I shall have a look and see what words are on our scroll for the 18th. Right, well, we're carrying on in Luke's Gospel, Luke chapter 1, from verse 39 through to verse 56. Sounds like quite a few verses, so I'll get on and read those now. At that time, Mary got ready and hurried to a town in the hill country of Judea, where she entered Zechariah's home and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. In a loud voice she exclaimed, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the child you will bear. But why am I so favoured that the mother of my Lord should come to me? As soon as the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the baby in my womb leapt for joy. Blessed is she who has believed what the Lord has said to her will be accomplished. And Mary said, My soul glorifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour, for he has been mindful of the humble state of his servant. From now on all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me, holy is his name. His mercy extends to those who fear him, from generation to generation. He has performed mighty deeds with his arm, he has scattered those who are proud in their inmost thoughts. He has brought down rulers from their thrones, but has lifted up the humble. He has filled the hungry with good things, but has sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel, remembering to be merciful to Abraham and his descendants forever, even as he said to our fathers. Mary stayed with Elizabeth for about three months and then returned home. Well, we read about Zechariah and Elizabeth back on the 13th of December and the baby boy uh, who was going to be uh, given to them, a special uh, baby promise to them. Well, Elizabeth was now into her sixth month of her pregnancy uh, and Mary visits her and what an amazing thing she experienced there. She and the baby in her womb both understood the significance of the baby who was presumably by now growing inside Mary and the baby leapt for joy and Elizabeth understood that Mary's baby was in fact the Lord. Did you notice that? Why am I so favoured that the mother of my Lord should come to me? And she comments on Mary's great faith too. Well Mary then sings this song, actually it just says Mary said, but we tend to think of it as a song and it's certainly set out as a poem, isn't it? And it has many similarities with Hannah's song, which is again a prayer really, uh, back in 1 Samuel chapter 2, uh, that Hannah prayed after the birth of her special promised child Samuel. Well, Mary praises God for his wonderful works of blessing and deliverance and salvation, for his people from the time of Abraham and down all the way through to her own situation in her day. She knows that God is faithful and perhaps it's just me but I think she's getting excited at what's coming next. I hope you are too. Well come back tomorrow and we'll find out more.